Filet's about to look so sexy, you're gonna leave your wife. Hell yeah, that's how it's done. Watch and learn. I'm leaving to be head chef at my own restaurant. We have a beautiful site upstate. All yours, baby. Ooh. We're pulling off a fine dining restaurant in the boonies. It is make or break. And we gotta make you the next big thing. I don't need them burnt, I need them delicious. Move, move. Let's go. I've never seen greens like these. Tell them we only want the best. Got it. What's pro scaiuto? Prosciutto? Oh. You okay, Chef? Yeah, I'm great. The previous owner? You know about her? Everyone around here has a witch lady story. I wouldn't need anything from her garden. You've been watching too many tales from the crypt, my dude. Come this way. Come. We have a squid ink risotto. It was hot. The spoon can get very hot. What was that all about? Well, there is something very wrong with this place. You, you are the to... chef. Oh, my God. This is on you. You're continuing to have anxiety? Oh, this feels different. I really believed you when you said that you were ready for this. Ah! Now I'm watching you fall apart. Ugh. Hope you're all still hungry. Director <sighs> of House of Spoils, debuting here at Fantastic Fest. I have Bridget, yes, Danielle. Ariane and Ariana. Hello. Perfect pleasure to meet you guys. I want to start with this with you two right here. You have worked before with Amazon, and this is a very different film from your last one, Blow Down, Blow the Man Down. Why do we why was this the next story? Why was this the next one? Do you want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy to okay, I'm happy on. to double double dip. Um, we wanted to tell a story of a woman finding her voice. And we sort of dabbled in like the art world for a little bit and then we sort of like when we had the seed of like what if she was a chef it really opened up and mm -hmm. kind of then the whole movie just i mean food's up. still an art being a chef's an art you're an art yes. artist so yeah, i mean exactly. yes. you sort of got what you wanted out of that yeah. and so that's totally fair Aria, we've talked before mm -hmm. about uh one of the other projects you've been in i wanted to ask you guys what it was like on set you and ariana what it was like on set with these two wonderful ladies and what did you get from doing this movie and why did you want to do it? I mean, the set was super fun. I mean, outside of like the, the long, the, the, you Overnight. know, overnights. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, was, it was a super fun and really relaxed. I thought it was pretty easy, actually, in a weird way. I mean, it was probably impossible for these guys, but, um, mm -hmm. but it was really just fun and, and we had a good time. And honestly, just being in Budapest and like shooting for two months was good. It's fun. It's like you got a good wardrobe. Yeah, I got, got, got yeah. yeah, a nice apartment. Yeah. I feel. I feel like if the if you have you look good, you feel good, and that's. Yeah. So that's I'm glad you said that. Honestly, that's all I. That's you all know what I you said. Come there. <laughs> and you guys look great. Everybody looks great, but everybody's beautiful. What are you gonna do? Oh, it's a bunch of beautiful right. Hollywood it's stuff. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, my my pockets are feeling a little light today, so if you want to. <laughs> I am open to it. So anytime I do an interview, and Ariane, you don't have to answer this question because you already technically answered it, and your answers to the question were, it's a wonderful life and the Shawshank Redemption. The question I always ask is, if you had two films to watch for the rest of your life, what two would you pick and why? You did answer them, and I did my research on my own interview. Wow. I checked to make sure what I you said picked. Shawshank and, and, and It's a Wonderful life. life. Oh, that's, that's good. good. And that's then good. you and I had a five-minute discussion about Frank Capra after the entire thing. Oh, that makes sense. 
I love Frank Capra. Who doesn't? That's a really hard question. It's too hard. Just, it's a great question. Yeah, no, it's, it's different than favorite movies. It's what well, you just, just keep watching over and over. And that's why is I asked it. Yes, for every single one of you except this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Brown. Ooh, Tarantino. Good choice. And um, Rushmore. Yes, oh, I'm a Wes Anderson oh, fiend. I can watch so. those any, any day. I love it. I wouldn't pick that. I wouldn't pick that Wes Anderson movie if I was going to pick one. But that's a great pick. I love it. I would pick Royal Tenenbaums. I love Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah, Rushmore. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Only some Indiana Jones. Yes. Take it anyway. Take it anyway. Which one? Uh, Last Crusade is really. What? I love Temple it. of Doom. I, I just love it. Um, and that's who I am. But um, I'm also just really recently watched, thanks to shout out Katie Walsh, um, Miami Vice. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Michael Mann is the it's just, so just good. brilliant. I love a high adrenaline. Look. I live. I love a high adrenaline. Look. But it's also like yeah. neon soaked. Yeah. Just yeah, like yeah. so yeah. good. Just I also love just the fun. Colin Farrell's super Thanks. handsome in it, you know. Yeah, yeah, he is. So yeah. Good. Jamie Foxx super handsome in it. You, you can't really go wrong with Michael Mann and the neon so craziness of Miami in the eighties, all coked up. It's great. Yeah, it's great. Ariana. Um, <laughs> God, my answers are gonna sound good. Oh, no, 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 trust me. I I have the dorky oh, dancers, so you're fine. I. Uh... <laughs> Godfather. That's a great answer. Yes, great answer. I would probably choose The Godfather than the first one. It's okay. Nice. It's also not seven hours long, so yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, and that's just really hard. I know. That's why I asked you. You know it. what? The first Wives Club. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Yes, yes. Diane and Keaton, like Diane Bette Midler, Goldie Hawn. Yes. Let's go. Like, Honestly, it's, so good. it's such a good film. My like, so only good. sadness is that we're the women of color, but you know, yes. the yes. writing is done. They, they the I'm really pretty bad. sure they remade it with they, women of color. It's a, it's a TV show though, yeah. which is a different oh, thing. And it is. Like, I want a, I want a film yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes me feel Cast it. like that I, exactly. right now. Cast it right now. Um, um, Ariana. 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 Okay, me. Um, You'd be great, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but that's so vain. Me. Um, <laughs> Mama needs a job. Uh, I think, uh, 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 um, oh, Io. Uh, Io, I would do it with Io. Io at a beery, okay. I'm thinking she of, it's really good. She really was good. a Disney kid, she was Cinderella on Broadway. She's now a game show host. Of password. Aisha Taylor? No. no. Oh no, you're talking about um um uh, Jamie. Kiki Palmer. We got them. Yes. I'm so proud of you. That's a great idea. Actually. I'm like keep me, keep me. Okay. Yeah. I would totally do this with Io and like, but I really want, like you know who I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of Stephanie Hsu. Yes. 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 So, like, I, as someone who should have also won an Oscar. Yeah. I'm just saying she yeah, should have won the Oscar. So I'm great. also available. Yeah, I can play anyone's husband. Oh, I can be the dick. You'll be my husband. Hey, yes. because, like, we can make Ariane one of the wives too. Whatever. Uh, We're open. Yes. But then, like, there's so many great side characters in that film. Come on, Terry Richard Parker. Oh, my Terry gosh, Richard Parker. Really beautiful appearance in that film. We didn't even consider the fact that we could just get a man of color to play a wife as well. Honestly, why not? Yeah. Uh, give, give me a gay bestie. I'm throwing yeah, it out there. All right. Thank you, everybody. Just, just thank saying. you, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm just throwing it out there. You guys nailed that. Great I job know. answering that question. Because that question ends up being also, a clusterfuck. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Make sure you guys check out House of Spoils on Prime Video. Thanks to Amazon Studios. Yes. It yeah. debuts October 3rd. 3rd. Make sure you check it out. Because if you don't. I mean, they should have come after you. You're gonna Promise be really you. sad. Yeah. A witch will haunt you. Yes, that bed. witch is. Her. <laughs> she's so frightening. Not really. She's so nice. Aww, Everybody's so nice. I love it. For film stop reviews, this is Will. We'll see you guys next time. Out. <laughs>